Tell him to act on the word of disobedience. Don't act as if our prison doors were not open. Now Jesus came under the full anointing of the Holy Ghost and said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor, the covering of sight of the blind, the opening of the prison to them that are bound. There is Christ's uh, figurative illustration. He wasn't talking about real prison. He you know, get out of prison if you're, if you're innocent. <laughs> you might have to say that if you're guilty. But uh, your difficulty, whatever it is, your prison, so to speak. And Christ opened the prison. Not going to, he opened the prison. He come and preached the opening of the prison. And brother, when the prison doors are open, you're free while you're in the prison. See? And so Martha translated it that way. So I came to, to tell the prison, they are free. Not going to be. They're already free. You are free. Christ redeems you. Just like when Abraham Lincoln made that emancipation proclamation, freeing the end, the uh, colored folk people of the South. After the, they were emancipated, didn't have to be slaves. Wouldn't do them any good unless they heard about it. And after they heard about it, all they've got to do is get up and walk out. They don't have to examine anything and try to face their, face their faith on what they see. Well, I say, here's the same sheep we've always had, and here's the cotton field, and here's that same dog, and here's the same cows. Why, that's not faith. It's a question of what, what, what has that emancipation proclamation been made? And brother and sister, Calvary, thank God, was our emancipation from pro proclamation from everything outside of God's will. That's not keep the band shouting, praising God all his life. 